Hello friends, Tony here. I have created a fresh Laravel application and I'm going to install the filament here and I'm going to create then the filament theme. So let's go first and install the filament in our project. So I'm going to copy this and paste it right here. Then let's copy the PHP artisan filament install their dash panels. And then let's go to the themes. And here I want to create a new filament theme. Paste this, hit enter, and let's say no for now. And now let's navigate first here. So let's say slash admin. Okay, I'm going to log in because I have created two users here. So let's say admin admin.com and add the password hit enter and yeah here we are also let's go and create first let's go to resources i'm going to make a new resource for the user so copy that and say make filament resource user and now if i come here and refresh we have also the user here and yeah so we need to display here but uh, we are not working with uh, resources in this video so I had a comment in YouTube about the themes and you don't like to have the border radius and if you don't like that I'm going to show you how to remove with the theme configuration okay so now let's go and create the themes PHP artisan make filament theme so copy that and open the terminal and i'm going to paste it right here okay with this command successfully created uh, inside the resources css we have now a filament directory then admin directory and it's created this theme.css and also tilewind.config.js also successfully created the postconfig.js file and we have a warning here, the action is required to complete the theme setup. First, add a new item to the input array of vitconfig.js. So let's open the VS Code and vitconfig.js inside the input array. We need to add a new item and the item is to add the resources CSS filament admin theme.css. So let's copy that and let's open here and I'm going to paste it right here okay save close this one next register the theme in the admin panel provider using the vid theme so let's copy also this one and now let's go inside the app providers filament admin panel provider and here I'm going to paste that in. Let's save, close. And finally run the npm run build. I have run the npm run dev, so we are okay. Let's close this and let's open now the resources, CSS, filament, and here we have tilingconfig.js and theme.css. In the tilingconfig, we have imported the presets. Okay. Now, if I open the Tiling CSS theme configuration, here we have an example. So let's copy this one here. And I'm going to add, add it in our Tiling config. And let's copy what we have in the theme here. Now you can do what you like, but I'm going to just show you. Let's save this. And now if I open here, yeah. Refresh, nothing changes. Now let's remove the border radius for this one, for example. So let's open and here we have the rounded large, as you can see here. It's a rounded large, so this button. And if we don't want that, we can say here on the border radius, the large border radius is going to be 
unknown. And if I save that, as you can see now we don't have a border radius here also on the hover and here we don't have a border radius. Now this one I think also here we don't have border radius. This one I think is using a extra large border radius and as you can see here, here is the rounded Excel. Now also if you don't like that you can do the same. So let's copy and paste here, just change the BXL and save this. Come here and now we don't have also border radius here. Uh, you can change what you like here also for example. Yeah, we don't have also here now border radius. And let's inspect this one. As you can see, this div has a, cl a custom class, FI section content ttn. So let's change this. Let's copy this one. And what I'm going to do now is let's open the theme.css. And here we have imported the theme CSS. So let's open this, which also has imported this index CSS, which has the base components and utilities and has a layer for the base here but let's close and let's add in our uh, project a layer for components and here I'm going to paste that uh, custom class and I'm going to apply some so let's say apply some classes. I'm going to say a border and let's say border yellow. Okay, because on the tile in config.js we have yellow this color. Okay, as you can see now we have a yellow here. Okay, friends, that's it about this video. Now you can go and customize what you like on the theme or also on the title in config.js but I just wanted to show you how to remove for example the border radius. All the best and see you in the next videos. Thank you very much.